The next play we're going to talk about is one of my favorite plays out of this formation. It's going to be the double lens sale. Uh, it's going to be on the right side of your screen. And we have a couple of solutions here against man coverage and zone covers that you can utilize here in Madden 24. So what we're going to talk about is zone covers first, and then we're going to talk about man coverage. So against zone coverage, go, as I've mentioned in the past in different sections of the ebook so far, uh, anytime that you have a corner route, you want to run it to the short side of the field just because in this year's game, corner routes get more open on the short side than they do the wide side this year. And all you have to do is simply put the outside of Tris receiver on a streak. You can either put your slot receiver on a five and in, or you can just leave him um, like he is right now, or you can just drag him. It doesn't matter. And then what I would do is put my tight end on the curl so that way you have a backside slash middle of the field option they can throw to in case they overcommit to the corner route. So against kind of curl flats, you can just throw it underneath just like that, make a guy miss. Or if they play uh, hard flats to take away the short options, you have the corner route that should open up uh, for you. So we snap this ball, wait for the corner route, boom. Possession catch that, easy money, easy completion. Now, against man coverage, what should happen is that you will get either the running back open or your mid-end wide receiver, which is Fenrin, which is the B icon. One of those two should get open. So what I like to do against man coverage, if I see this like cover one or cover two, I will put my slot apprentice on a crosser. I would wheel the halfback and I would put the tight end on a drag or you can leave him on a five and then it doesn't matter. Kind of creating that mesh kind of concept here. The other additional step is you're going to motion this B icon and you're going to snap the ball once he passes the tight end. So you're going to snap it right when he gets about right here. And what should happen is it should cause a bump with your or with those defenders and that should allow the halfback to get either open or it should open up the mid in elite wide receiver. So we're going to do this one more time against man cover. So that way you can see what's going on here. So we're going to come out and cover one. It's going to be to put your slot apprentice on a crosser, wheel the halfback, and then drag the tight end. And then motion your slot or mid in elite, your B icon over. And once he passes the tight end, you snap it. And you should see your mid and elite also be open too. Again, this is the why the mid and elite is so valuable this year against man coverage more than anything else in uh, the game because you can get those kind of post routes open against man to man coverage. And again, also too, you know, you got your tight end on a drag that's open. Your running back should be open too against wheel or against man coverage, especially if you pass lead to right. And then also because we like we talked about the mid and elite activating like it does. Boom, you see that cut, that good separation. And you could throw that. Also, your crosser route is also open too. So if I were to step up to the right here and uh, set my feet the right way, I could throw that crosser as well that Calvin Johnson's on too. But this is a, one of my favorite plays to utilize against zone coverage and, or sorry, passive zone coverage and man coverage in uh, this game plan, this playbook.